Good morning, YouTube. I am in the Fort Lauderdale airport right now, and I am traveling to Pittsburgh for my third show of the year, and um, I am missing Cameron. <laughs> I'm missing my partner this weekend, but I'll be meeting Kathy Radelik out there, and we'll be um, having a great weekend together. So, you ready for this ride? I am. I worked really hard for this show, so I'm super excited, and I'm ready to go have some fun. So I'm about to eat my first meal. It's chicken and rice. I've got some check-ins going on. That's Taryn. She looks amazing. She's also competing this weekend, and I'm ready to do this. I made it to Tampa. This is the first stop for me. And then I'm headed to my gate right now. I'm gonna buy some more water, get another meal together, and I'm headed to Pittsburgh. Alright, let's get a leader. Uh, no leaders around here. Oh well. This will have to do safe flight. That's what I prayed for. So thanking the Lord for that and praying for one more. So I'm on my next flight and I have the whole road to myself. It's not a full flight. So it's just a couple hours to Pittsburgh and um, I really don't like how something in my face is looking. I hate it. So I thought about something. I have one thing to say about today. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> Nobody's with me to play along in my shenanigans. Cameron is back in Florida, staying on his prep because he's competing in two weeks at Europa. So we will be there. We will both be there. Um, yeah. You're my music, but you tear me to pieces. So oh, where does it come from? The scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from? All your emotions with your heart on your sleeve, it won't fade. Until you paint it black I let it burn you call the fire brigade But I feel that it will come back Oh, where does it come from? 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 to have my meal number three, drink some more water. I've got a gallon to finish today because um, the show is late tomorrow night, pre-judging, so I usually try to get all my water in the day before when I have a later show. I don't cut it so early or so hard. Anyway, i um, here in the room and I am going to relax for a little bit. I have a photo shoot to do today and my roomie Kathy is coming later tonight and um, yep that's about it. Um, I will keep you posted on all the good fun stuff going down. I miss my partner in crime though. I'm alone right now. I'm not used to this. No shenanigans. Just me. And I'm trying to get everything for you so I hope this video is okay. <laughs> Anyhow, I made it safe. I could never forgive myself. 
luggage, plane rides, thank the Lord. My kids are doing good, they, my two older ones text me, and i um, ready to have a good weekend. Worked hard for this, so time to perform. It is about 2 p.m., a little after, here in Pittsburgh right now on a Thursday. First day here, and um, so slight change in plans for today. So I was supposed to shoot with a photographer. His name is Amir Morandi. Um, a lot of you NPCI FBB people are well aware of his work. He um, always gives me excellent shots, um, stage shots. So we were trying to plan a, um, you know, a photo shoot with a couple, you know, fun different looks. Well. Fortunately, his car broke down on his drive over from Columbus today, so that frees me up today. Um, so here's the plan for me today. I'm going to put my jacket on because it's in the 50s here and this little floor girl is cold. And I'm going to go to the supermarket. They have a great supermarket here in Pittsburgh called the Giant Eagle. It's like Whole Foods on crack. It's 2.0. It's awesome. Uh, I'm going to grab a couple things, a little bit more water. I need to get some orange juice. I need to get... I totally forgot a hair tie. You know, like to put this mop up when I'm tanning and stuff. Gotta get that. What else did I need? I don't know. I made my little list. Oh, jelly. I forgot jelly. I have my favorite honey and Nutella and peanut butter, but um, I need that too. I need options. So, because um, I don't go too crazy with the peanut butter and Nutella, um, especially because I am doing another show in three weeks. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go to the store. I've got another meal coming up soon. And then I'm actually going to... Um, just take a nice little probably 30 45 minute walk on the treadmill for a little bit or maybe the elliptical just nothing nothing crazy just a little bit to um, kind of deep fluff from the plane ride um, and then start my tan and eat and feet up and eat and feet up and feet feet up is what I'm saying <laughs> so uh, it it's kind of turning into a super chill day, which I'm not too upset about, but I did want those cool images. So, anyway, my hair is super curly this weekend, which I'm kind of stoked about, so hopefully it'll behave for tomorrow. And that's it, and uh, I'm going to try to get some good sleep tonight. Um, I haven't been sleeping very well, but that always happens to me on peak week. My adrenaline and anxiety kicks in, <laughs> like all my nerves and stuff, and I think too much and can't turn my brain off. So um, hopefully tonight I will be able to sleep a little bit. We have a lot of time tomorrow. We have an athlete meeting at 3 and prejudging starts at five and um there's a lot of competitor pros um competitors this is a pro-am show but um i think the amateurs go tomorrow no saturday uh but our prejudging is tomorrow um there's a ton of men's uh, uh classic and there's um 30 bikini pros um so it's gonna be a great event i'm super excited the list is Pretty insane. Um, a lot of beautiful um, bikini athletes listed on that list. So um, it's an honor to walk this stage and uh, share the stage with um, like minded, like bodied females. All right. I'm not going to bring the camera with me to the grocery store because um, I don't know. I feel weird sometimes, like in public, like pulling out my camera and talking to my camera and I don't know, I'm weird. I'll I'll catch you guys back in a little bit. Hi. It is about seven o'clock Thursday evening. I went and got a hair tie as you can see. 
I had a couple meals. I did 30 minutes on the elliptical just to circulate. Nothing crazy, didn't even really sweat. I went to go see Dexter, he gave me the thumbs up. I am about to eat another meal. It's my fifth meal. I started eating so early today, so I'll probably have to do a sixth meal tonight. Unless I go to sleep early. But who can sleep? I'm exhausted, but sleep eludes me. Too excited! So I started my tanning too, and I, you know, I apply it by hand, so it takes forever in a day. I have to do like ten coats. It's pretty monotonous, but if anything is ready, my state, my face is ready. <laughs> His face is ready to compete. Okay. Thursday is basically a wrap, y'all. And tomorrow, not much going on. I'm just going to keep applying tan, making it nice and dark, stay on my meals, and stay off of my feet because we don't compete until probably probably close to like 7 o'clock at night. Check-ins is at 3, and then, you know, we start at 5, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I will be taking you backstage with me. That will be a new view, because usually you're watching it. Peace out. Good morning, it's Friday, pre-judging day. I got my roomie here, Kathy! Hi! IFBB uh -huh. Pro, Kathy Radelik, you guys know her. The one with the glutes, you know. So we are up. We both could not very sleep very well. So we are up and tanning and eating and um, basically don't have too much to do until three o'clock when we go check in and get our numbers and then pre-judging starts at five. So we're just gonna eat and chill and tan and repeat. It's go time! You ready, Kathy? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Kathy is, is ready. My voice is totally gone. I saw her body last night straight off the airplane looking vascular as you know what. So wait on it, people. She looks good. See you guys later. Yeah. I'm not wearing green. 
I'm just going to check in with Dexter real quick. He's down the hall from me, so I'm just gonna let him get a little peek at the physique, and that's it. Um, but I'm gonna go with purple. Gotta stick with the suit that never fails me. Okay. Here we go. This is you too, baby. Here he comes, the man of the hour. Do y'all know who this is? Does anybody know this this name? This little this little name? I ain't nobody. Dexter Jackson. Ever heard of that before? And here's <laughs> Panny Team Blade. Hi. Hi. I got the same camera. Yes. I got the same camera. It's checking in. Time for check-ins? Yes, check-in. All right. Boop. Perfect. That's all you need to hear. Woo! One more. Very tight. <laughs> okay. He gave me one word. Perfect. I don't like that word. <laughs> That's pressure, because I'm not perfect. Just let me know that I'm on point. I'm the best version of Michelle. But it's nice that he said it. <laughs> okay. Back to chilling for just a little bit more, and then we get ready. Ready. Time to go check in. Ha! We found somebody else. Hello. Oh, no. Wait, come in the it's light. It's really Let me dark. Okay. Here we go. Hi. Look at how dark this girl. How are you? Good. You look beautiful. Heading wow. to check ins with Yes. Are gorgeous. you guys heading there now? Yep. We're going right now. Awesome. I'm going to go back <sighs> to my room and grab one more. Try. Walking. Oh, oh. Almost, you guys. Oh. <laughs> Walking across the street to that oh, building. Oh, I like the right there. Oh, got it. Alright. So it's almost time. Check in at 3 or they have a meeting at 3 30? I thought it was 3. 3 30. 3 30. Oh, is it? Well, let's go back to the room. <laughs> well, let's go back to the room. Well, I what in the world? Okay. I think, you know what? This happened last year. I was there at 3 30. Okay. 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 Oh no, we're not going, girl. I'll see you at 3.30. Okay. We're going back. <laughs> False alarm, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, here. <laughs> Hold this. <laughs> Is it on? Yeah. I'm never early. I would have been early, but it's I, why break my streak now? <laughs> Let's continue being fashionably late. <laughs> All right, guys. Catch you in a minute. Did it right this time. We're a little early, but that's okay. And we are here. We're here. Time to get numbers. Ready? Yes. Ready. Ready as can be. Walking back, ready to go, and it's starting to rain. Not good. Her hair, my tan. <laughs> my hair will just get more curly, actually. And mine will get frizzy. <laughs> We're almost there. I'm gonna put the feet up and wait. All right. I am number. 108 and Kathy is number 100 Casey what number are you 105 Casey is 105 a couple before me We're bringing up the rear Tying up the show We're bringing up the rear That's like a good word for it I got my gorgeous friend. How pretty does she look? Oh, 
My brother from another Damn. brother. And we're here. 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 Robin Chang in the house. Robin Chang. Yes. And we're backstage. And we're backstage. Hi! Hello, hello, hello. And we're backstage. And we're going to go find a spot. Look at all the beauties. Look at all the beauties. And men's physique. This is men's physique. Men's physique. Men's physique is about to go. Alright, where do we go? They're just starting with Memphis. Yeah. For my YouTube. For your you're filming now? Yes. What do you want me to say? <laughs> pressure, 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 pressure. The man pressure. of many words with no words today. Yes, that's it. <laughs> too many people Wait, I have a question for you. Okay. What am I gonna say? What's my question always? Where's your wife? She's here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where she is, but she's in the middle. Where's Debbie? <laughs> it just we want Debbie! Just look for the hair. Like yes, the there's the curls. <laughs> and the blue eyes. <laughs> and the green eyes. And the green eyes. Cassie's got blue. That's right. Hello! Hello! Hello backstage! Uh, there she is! That's my B.A.B. <laughs> and gorgeous. Who has a face so prettier than Yashara? This is the first time we've ever been on stage together. Oh, where does it come from? Jesus for his favor you know everybody looked so good so good 30 girls it was tough and um, you know like I said before this is my 21st show but every single time feels like the first time and uh, the nerves and the doubt and all of it is real for me um, I can't speak on behalf of everyone but it's all real 
but um, perseverance, dedication, drive, hope, it counts. It, it'll get you to your goals, so I'm super happy, but I'm not happy about the fact that we have to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow night actually so um, it's Friday night here prejudging is over I'm in the running for top two um, it's between me and KC they called us out for that confirmation and um, we'll see how finals goes tomorrow I'm gonna go get a little something to eat just some clean sushi and get in bed not setting an alarm because I don't have to and uh, just uh, stay on point and staying excited Good night. It's Saturday morning and it is finals day, but it's tonight. So today is going to be um, a really chill day because it's live um, judging again tonight. So things can change, so I have to show up on point, if not better and tighter, to really secure a first place position. So, got up, fixing up my tan, I had egg whites and oatmeal um, downstairs um, at the, um, they have like the competitor's menu. Um, can I just complain for a second? $12 for three egg whites, and I usually don't complain about stuff like that, but whoa. That hurt my feelings. Anyway, so this is pretty much it for today. Um, not too exciting. So um, uh, just gonna, um, like I said, keep my feet up and hopefully go in tonight for another win. Um, I'm excited and I'm anxious and um, I really want this really bad. That is about it. I woke up um, after my sushi last night like full and tight and um, on point. So hopefully I can just carry it for the rest of the day and show up tonight. So um, I'm excited. Um, all right, I'll check in in a little bit, guys. Hope you're enjoying this so far. Basically been in bed all day. I just did my makeup. <laughs> um, my tan is ready to go. Just gonna put my little top coat of bikini bronze on. And um, I've had a few meals today. I had egg whites and oatmeal this morning. I had um, steak and rice. I had two meals and um, some rice cakes. And um, sipping on my water. Had about that much <laughs> not much at all uh, uh, yeah and uh, feeling good feeling really good ready to rock this final event tonight here at the Pittsburgh Pro Kathy and I leave bright and early in the morning because um, she is going to be competing at the Grand Prix in West Palm Beach on Sunday, tomorrow. <laughs> and then we are off to Toronto in three weeks. It will be another fun adventure and I will definitely have Cameron with me, so yay. You'll get a better video when he's with me because he's awesome. Ooh, neck rolls. Skin. <laughs> so it's about, what time is it? 10 after five, and finals just was supposed to start at five, but they're starting with NPC bodybuilding, and then the pros will be going after that. So we'll be walking over at six, and hopefully we will be on stage at about seven, 7.30 probably. And I'll let you know how it all goes down, folks. Ready to do this. We're ready for finals. I got my wifey here, looking so beautiful. 
Wait until you see this Number girl on stage. Number one right here. <laughs> Hopefully. Wait until you see this girl on stage tonight. I'm going to see if I can get somebody to, to record us, you know? Let's see. Okay, walking out the door. Got our bags, got our shoes. Suits are on. We are ready to get this over with. <laughs> it's been a long day. A lot of waiting. A lot of waiting. Okay, rice cakes check, jewelry check, shoes check, booty check. Where is it? <laughs> check, check. <laughs> Let's go, final time. Found two of my favorite people right here. You guys know this one. Not you. You know this one. Hey. Superstar. <laughs> this one right here, let me introduce you to B A B, also known as. Badass black. There you go. <laughs> We're ready to kill it tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Finals. And eat. Pittsburgh. And eat yes. Everything. We are going to the infamous Purgatory. Purgatory for yes. burgers. We are in the shuttle. Woo woo. I know. I'm like, I asked for that shuttle at 620. <laughs> so, bye. Just it's across the street. Yeah. We can see the auditorium. <laughs> we can see the That's auditorium so from our hotel, but so. it's so cold and rainy, a little rainy out right now that we're being divas and we're not walking because we can. So we became divas. <laughs> Whoa! I almost fell. I'm okay. No, don't fall. <laughs> Are you yes. <laughs> I never fall. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come here. See took first place at the Pittsburgh Pro and I know this isn't the best vlog that I've ever done because I was trying to video it all myself but um, that's how it went down and we're going home tomorrow and I'm so excited and so honored and feel so blessed that um, I was given that title yeah that felt really good so I came I'm at my goal, and I'm headed home tomorrow and back on track on Monday. We are not done yet. Um, this was just another, uh, you know, accomplishment that I wanted to make, and we got there. So first place um, for me here at the Pittsburgh Pro 2017. This is my fourth open win, and um, it's time to go have a burger, people. Yeah. All right, here with the champ, right off stage just a few moments ago, the first place check, the Olympia qualification goes to Michelle Sylvia. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Close one last year. Uh, very close. Great competition. Angelica in number one. Tough to complain with that. I mean, you guys are so close when it comes to those top Olympian spots. Uh, but this year in the winner's circle. That's right, and it feels good. I, have I bet to it say. does. It <laughs> feels great. Well, certainly qualify for the Olympia now. Um, let's talk about the Olympia. Uh, well, first, let me back up. Um, are you scheduled for any more shows between now and the Olympia, or are you just going to gun right for the big one? One more. I've committed to Toronto in three weeks. Oh, good. I'll be there. Definitely be there. Yeah, it. It's a sort of a bucket list of mine. I want to go to that city. I want to go check out the event. I've heard great things about it, so I'm going. Toronto's a great show. Ron Hache and his crew, excellent job up there at the Toronto Super Show. Um, and it's got a nice history to it already, um, but it's a, it's a first-class show all the way. Uh, so I'm glad you're doing that one. And it ain't going to hurt you to get in front of some more judges. Right. Uh, obviously, you're going to be an immediate contender uh, for the title. But if you could take that one home, uh, that's a real good way to get into the Olympia this year. That would be, I mean, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for a sweep. I just won the Orlando Pro that's right. here in Pittsburgh. I've got one more before I shut it down before Olympia. So three is a good number. Three is a good number. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the competition a little bit here tonight that you faced. Uh, very good lineup. Uh, I didn't see any top six Olympian names in there, but no. that usually makes for a better show sometimes when there isn't really any clear favorite, so to say. Right. Uh, it was very good competition. Everybody can, you know, uh, bucking for that top spot. 
uh, but it puts you in a very good spot leading into the Olympia as a contender. Right, I think this particular show, it was anyone's game. It, it was anyone's to take, yeah. because like you said, there weren't any top six Olympians expected to show up and take it. So um, I was nervous because there's sure. a lot of new girls coming out like yeah. hotness, fire. So 30 of us, big show. And a lot of young girl, I mean, a lot of, it's not no secret that a lot of bikini uh, pros uh, turn pro very early, you know. Right. We've seen anything from teens to early 20s. So right. a, lot of, a lot of turn, you know, when it comes to bikini. That's very true. That's very true. But I'm still holding my own up here. Oh. The, uh, clearly, you were holding your own because what did you put out there that you think the judge that separated you from the pack that the judges liked? You know, I think it's, at the end of the day, it's about your presentation because they can read whether you're nervous or scared or not confident. So I think if you can really shine and just express a really good energy, work on that posing and that presentation, you can really nail it, you know? Because everybody looks good. Everybody's body is on point. But at the end of the day, I think it's my presentation that I bring head to toe and my, you know, in my head, the confidence that I have to give myself on stage. I think that's the key. Oh, no, listen, it's clear you exude confidence on stage. And I don't mean that in a over-the-top way, you know? Um, I think there's a big difference when you see people out there uh, competitors that have that that aura, that confidence about them. Again, it's not cocky, but it's confident. And right. I think there's a fine line there, but you don't cross it. All right. Well, thank you. Because I don't. So. Cocky's not a good word. No, but no, 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 no. Confident. Yes. Confident is a good be. word yes. in, in, when it comes to bodybuilding in any right. division, of course. Yes. Um, what's the biggest mistake that you see? Not particularly just with people you compete against, but in general when it comes to bikini. What's the biggest mistake you see in presentation? That's a good question. Um, like, what do girls do that you, when you're watching a show, you go, oh, man, I just, man, she shouldn't have done that, or? That is a really good question. Um, again, it, I think it comes down to posing. I think you really need to. I mean, but specifically, though, what do they do? Is it is it a positioning of the body? Do they stay out there too long? Like, I've seen a lot of long routines where I think to myself, man, That's it right the there. longer you're out there, the more they're going to pick you apart. I was just about to say that. I think if it's too drawn out, that's exactly what happens. They'll pick you apart. Get in, show your good sides, and get out. Too long, I think, is a mistake. See, I, and I agree with that wholeheartedly. Um, and I think you do that very well, where you get out there, you show what you got, but it's not that long, drawn out, kind of, I'm in quicksand, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like I say, the longer you're there, the longer they're looking at you. Yeah, you got to give them just enough to want more. Let me bring her back out and see that again. Well, I think you're going to bring a lot more that they're going to want to see in Toronto, yes. so that the Canadian fans get a chance to, to, to see your uh, display. Yeah. Uh, and then it's off to the Olympia. Can't wait to see you at the Olympia stage. You have to be excited to get on that grand stage. I really am. I really am. It's amazing. It's a great feeling. Looking forward to it. Sure is. Well, congratulations, Michelle Sylvia. Your winner here in the Pittsburgh Pro, off to Toronto, and then we'll see you in Las Vegas, Nevada.